我想我们，我想我的记者还在评估之中，所以我也还不知道，<笑>我还不知道，所以可能你要帮我问他们一下。哈哈哈哈哈。上次看到你有没有跟你做出什么样的反应？啊，我想呃，我可以说是相当温馨的啦。当我在那边的话，我觉得说我可能他们有人就是跟我说，他们觉得我相当随和啦，随和，像我很亲切。所以我对他们的热情，我真的是很感动。对，对，对。嗯，嗯，嗯嗯嗯嗯。我想我的背景可能无心插柳成荫吧，哈，让我有这样的一个基础，啊，能够啊了解来自不同阶层的人的需要，啊啊，这是我的一个，所以说一个说。呃，呃，又又这个，所以所以说 advantage， 我们叫它一个 advantage 啊，可能就是这方面啊啊，因为我想我可以我可以坐在咖啡店啊，没问题，跟居民谈啊啊，我我呃呃，我可以去做家访啊，我、啊、都可以跟居民，我我觉得说什么语言居民要跟我谈，我都没问题，没问题啊，因为毕竟。可能这这个这可能是我的一些优势吧，优势吧啊啊、嗯！那么我现在在银行工作的话，我我的客户大部分来自中小企企业啊，都是一样的，都一样的。可就是这么巧，就是这样的一个延续，啊，让我可以了解到更多的工人的心声啊，中小企业老板的心声啊，所以这可能就是我的一个优势吧啊。所我想我。我还是会尽我全力去把不同阶层的声音带到国会去，啊，不会单单是一个某个阶层。我想每一个阶层都有每个阶层的面对的挑战跟问题，啊，不管他们来自中等或者来自于低收入家庭，我想每个层阶层都有他们的特定的问题，这些都需要啊，把它反映到国会去，啊，能够知道政策能够加强，能够帮助他们，对。Yeah. Yeah. There's a perception that、uh, grassroots leaders have,、mm. a, have a big challenge in translating the issues on the ground、mm. to government.、Mm. Um, you are a grassroots leader with a lot of experience. What, what would you? I don't think do? so. I don't think so. My experience tell me otherwise.、Huh? To prove that point wrong, because I think for grassroots leaders, I think we are able to to listen to the ground. And and let the so-called MP or Vice President know. And、uh, even we we also have、uh, feedback session with the minister concern and all that. Even within party itself, we also organize feedback session with the ministry concern with that any particular issue. So we are able to bring bring forward all this issue. Example, if you talk about ER ERP charges, you know, let's say there's a rise,、uh, you know, congestion, all this. So we did voice out to. Transport minister, yeah.、Mm-hmm. So how how well can we manage all these issues,、mm-hmm. right? Because every issue, you look at the policy, to the government objective is to try to、uh, actually benefit everybody,、yeah. right? Unfortunate, of course, they are always have this small segment、mm-hmm. that might be disadvantage.、Mm-hmm. So what we want to do is that for this small little segment、mm-hmm. or unfortunate lots, I would say, what we do is that we will try to. To help them, we try to help them, right? So that they will not be left out. That is very critical. Yeah, I think no no particular issue, I would say, or policy,、uh, can be so perfect. Very simple. I call you an example. You like laksa, I don't like,、mm-hmm. right? You offer me laksa, but I don't eat, right? So things are like that. So different people may have different preference.、Mm-hmm. So, but a、uh, good policy, of course, we try to cater to everybody, right? Maybe moderate chili,、uh, in terms of hotness, not so hot, that kind of thing. But certainly, you know, there will be people that don't like it totally. Then you might you might have to look at it case by case basis subsequently. Yeah. Yes,、yeah, sure. Is there a policy sorry, that you disagree、mm. with? Kali, no. I think currently all the policy are there. Um, to help the people, what I can say that what we can do is to improve upon it、uh, when the time change, right? Because the certain policy might be outdated, right?、Uh, the profile or the or the Singaporean change, the demographic change. So maybe what we can do is that we have to make sure the policy、uh, stay relevant at all times, right? That, that's very critical. One particular one you think needs to be updated? Ah.、Uh, <coughs> For the timing, no, no, not for the timing. Yeah, yeah. I think the the current policy that in my country, I think they does service purpose and、uh, does help the people, right? Of course, 
That's why I say uh, we, I also notice that there are some policy that uh, unfortunately there are some some small segment okay, uh, may not feel it and may not may feel less fulfilled, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, 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 so we will go in and help this this, this group of people mm-hmm. and help to yeah. Uh, we are looking case by case basis. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah. Um, I think uh, this. Uh, I mean. Look at it. Um, okay, there are so many policies actually. Um, I think one of the policies is the word supplement income. Uh, I hope government can increase the quantum. Okay, hope more, more the yeah, welfare the supplement income. So this one, I think I will, I will raise for the workers. Right, hopefully the government maybe can increase some more. Right, after all, government is going to increase levy, right? right. Levy on the foreign worker. Perhaps uh, with the increase of the foreign worker. That revenue can be channeled to help the, the Singaporeans, right, uh, who unfortunately still not able to to to, to elevate themselves right, in this process. So this one, I think I want I'm trusted to to, to raise for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, I think whatever that I learned from the the previous uh, uh, ward, I think still relevant. And, uh, but it all depends uh, the countries that are going to right. Uh, so I will I will have to apply. If if there is a need, they call apply accordingly. That I can say. What are some of the lessons that you have experienced that you will take? Um, um, perhaps let me share. Um, I think always uh, always important to find out from the, the people what they want. That's very critical. I think that's what I want to say. I think it's always relevant. All right. So so that's why I I. I come in with my listening ear, try to hear from them. Because that is critical. That will help you, right, in any particular estate that you go to. You were with the branch in 06, the Potong Pasir branch in 06 G. Yeah. So can you tell us what, why, why uh, from your perspective at the branch, why do you think the PAP lost in 06? I think there are so many, many factors. I uh, think there are... Uh, I, I don't think that you can pinpoint any particular factor that contributed to the loss of the... What I can say is that I think uh, during that time uh, when I was uh, with the PAP team, of course, we did try our very, very best, you know. So, but we give the respect to the residents there, the voters there. Subsequently, they still decide to to let the incumbent continue for another five years. Uh, then. Okay. So, so, so that, that, that is a... Uh, yeah. Any I really appreciated my my wife's support, my parents' support, my sibling pilot support, my friends, colleagues. I think, uh, think they really, really wish me all the best. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. What about for SMEs? I mean, you work very closely with them in, in mm-hmm. your job. Mm-hmm. What, can you, what can you do to, you know, to promote that sector if you were to be elected? Yeah, certainly I think I will, I will try to talk to them to find out what their wish list mm-hmm. right, and then bring it to the parliament mm-hmm. and um, certainly that SME is important sectors right uh, for any country that you go actually SME is a, is a very important sector so so it helps right so their aspiration right and their challenges I think 
we wanted to, I, I, or me, I'll, I will definitely want to bring over to, to, to the parliament and I hope that we can help them right, to improve and uh, hopefully they, they can raise to the next level right, in, the, in the business community uh, in, in the, also can bring them to international. I think you can see some successful cases that some of the, our local SME actually have gone into international mm-hmm. arena, right? I think that they, they have managed to elevate themselves, right? Into, so uh, we hope, we hope, I think, right, more and more, more and more will be able to promote themselves uh, internationally. Right. Is this the first time you've been approached by the party? Yeah, yeah, I am. This is the first time, yeah. First time. When yeah. did you join the PAP? I joined... Uh, I, I, have, I can't recall, but uh, somewhere in the 90s. Uh, I, I can't recall exactly which year. Right? Yeah. Well, quite some time, man. Quite some time. Yeah. Where in China are your parents from? Uh, they came from China. Uh, they came from Fujian. They came from Fujian. Yeah, they came from Fujian. Yeah. My brother already passed away, so uh, my mom is still around. Yeah. yeah. Or dialects, you speak three different dialects. I can speak Hokkien, I can speak Teochew, I can speak that. Uh, 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 but to be to be fair, lah, huh? but I, I grade myself as fair, lah. <laughs> I'm not an expert. <laughs> okay, uh, I learned, I learned, huh? because when young, I watch Cantonese movie, right? <laughs> so I learned. Right? Teochew, very close to Hokkien, right? So somehow, just make sure your the slang is there. Get it right across, you know. Impact yeah. what about the youth today? Mm. I think the youth today, I can I notice that quite a lot of them are bilingual, right? So, um, yeah. So I think the youth we could engage them in, in the in the mainstream languages like That's mother tongue and the uh, English la. But English, I think to me is very important because that is the uh, uh, international uh, communications uh, language, right? It's used by most countries, so we got to subscribe to it because that's how we can relate and how we can communicate with uh, people, friends from, from the world. Yeah, that's very critical. Yeah, mother tongue we still keep it because of the value that we you know he passed down. Right. Well, I say uh, got to let PM decide. Right. If PM think that I'm the best candidate, then you know I'll, I shall I'll try my best. Right. I have no particular preference, just I mentioned. Right. Uh, I'm prepared to serve in any constituency that PM assign me. After all, to me, uh, for me, is to serve the residents. Right, that is more critical. I always must bear in mind. Right, Singaporean come first. Yeah. Right. Okay, thank you.